Uh, for, the, uh, for a teacher to be involved in online uh, teaching through us, they would first uh, consult our um, Department of um, Instructional Designers, who will then help them decide if online is a good fit for them in terms of their content. If they decide that it is and the instructor is for it, then uh, we then decide whether it's web conference only. Uh, we have a lot of management and uh, also expository writing classes make up the bulk of our online only classes. Or if they're better suited for uh, in, on ground, um, in classroom. Uh, and in the occasional, we suggest a hybrid uh, where they will either have two or three weekends on campus and the rest online. Uh, once we've decided that with them and they've agreed, uh, if it's web conference, then we bring them in, train them on the technology that we use, uh, one of those three various online uh, web conference softwares. Um, and then we also try to match them uh, when it makes sense with other instructors who've done it for a while and can share tips. So that's one of the areas we're trying to expand is peer-to-peer uh, -peer mentoring. It really isn't very much information about how they use these materials to teach courses. So in response to uh, a uh, proposal from uh, members of our faculty advisory committee, we set about trying to do this. To add, uh, we've added a page to many of our courses, certainly not all of them, the ones that we published recently, uh, that tries to give the context in which the course was taught. So uh, a brief course description, uh, what are the desired outcomes that the instructor has? What uh, kind of students take the course? How do they spend their time? Uh, what kind of assessments are used? How does, how does the instructor uh, look at assessments? Um, uh, and other things, I mean, the, the most uh, the most interesting thing from my point of view are instructor insights. So we uh, ask the instructors, not every page doesn't have this because the instructors are volunteers and we have to get them to set aside time to talk to us, but uh, at its most robust these pages have instructor insights about how they've taught the course. Uh, and we have a questionnaire, we interview them, uh, and sometimes we do video interviews and at other times we also have videotapes the class so we can show what's happening and what they're, what they're talking about when, as they describe it, we can actually show it. Uh, but they, a lot of the insights are, uh, you know, why they structure the class the way they do, what they're hoping to achieve by that, uh, how they, you know, do their assessments, why they uh, uh, have structured them the way they are. Um, do they use active learning? How does that work? Um, things like that. When we talk about learning, really when we start talking about building a course, mm -hmm. the, the, there are a number of things that we do that I think of as the OLI development process. Part of this involves bringing together a team to develop these environments. I think th this is actually a fairly important distinction that sounds trivial at first. But when you think about the normal online course development process, it's often a single faculty member who's saying, I want to put my course online. Um, what we're going to do is take that faculty member, or hopefully a group of faculty members, who have both domain expertise and teaching expertise, say, so, you know, we, we want to honor and recognize that expertise, but also recognize that there's additional inputs that we need. And so we want to pair you up with learning scientists, human computer interaction specialists, technologists, um, learning engineers, and so as a team, recognize that all of these different expertises have something to do with the development process. First thing in that development process is to really clearly articulate student-centered measurable learning outcomes, and we use those outcomes to carefully drive what it is we're building out. Ideally, an OLI course looks like a set of outcomes and a series of activities that will support students in achieving those outcomes. Uh,